The organizations are addressing deep fake concerns that could impact both national and local elections. Deep fakes are videos that use artificial intelligence to create believable but fake depictions of real people. Camuate's Shay Lawson is here to tell us more about what these groups are doing. Shay. Well, this map shows states that have either enacted or proposed deep fake laws. And even though Missouri doesn't have one of those laws now, groups like the Missouri School Boards Association are addressing the issue. Professor did. J. Scott Christensen has studied AI technology since 2019. Deep fakes are a synthetic representation made in a computer of somebody's voice or someone's video or both. It's bad that some of that technology can be used for these malicious purposes. I hate hedgehogs. I think they are so ugly. So originally I was saying, I love hedgehogs. I think they are so cute. He says the technology manipulates how people feel about politicians affecting elections. If you remember, there was about four years ago, there was a deep fake that was done of President Obama. That took like 30 people an entire month to make that. Now we can make something with just maybe three minutes of audio or video clips. I can now make a convincing deep fake using point and click technology. And he says that's a problem. The Associate Press reports six in 10 adults think AI will increase misleading information during 2024 elections. The Missouri School Boards Association is co-presenting a webinar Monday on how AI might affect Missouri elections. The reason we're doing this is because there's a major concern from voters, not just here in Missouri, but all over the country about AI and deep fakes and how they're going to possibly impact the elections. One MSBA spokesperson says he wants voters to make informed decisions. We're trying to educate folks on how they can be more aware of these things, to question what they see, to fact check on their own, to ensure that they're not fooled. One MSBA spokesperson says about 130 Missouri leaders are signed up for the webinar. He also says video of it will be available on the website Monday afternoon for anyone to view. Reporting in the studio, Shay Lawson, KOMU 8 News.